Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Codenbox Automation Lab. Uh, today we're going to see some logging testing. Uh, let's uh, open a site, Codenbox. So this is our site. So what we're we going to do, we'll launch this site and then we'll get a title from there. And at the bottom, you know, we'll click on the login button and then will enter some username and a password say just random some invalid username and then I will click on login button and then it will give you some invalid error and with the law lost your password uh, URL will click on there and then it will print give some some message like please enter your username or email address will catch will will get this text and we'll print it that's it our that will be our testing so let's see how can we do this let's get back to home page so we have to spy so to do this first I create a project called selenium practice then I create a class it's called first test and then you know uh, with the main method and this is our system class set property method I use to set our physical uh, driver location so this is the key for the Chrome driver or driver dot Chrome driver and then this is the uh, directory for the Chrome driver and then make a relationship parents and, and child between the web driver interface and Chrome driver class and then I use some manage uh, method from the web driver to mi maximize the window to delete all the cookies as well as I, I put some implicitly wait five seconds and then the driver.get to launch the uh, uh, site and then driver.get title will get the title for the site and I will print it and then and then I will say uh, first I have to click on the login so let's go and see how we can spy so this is the login so right click inspect and here you can see so this is the inspect okay so here is the HTML code that reflect the login URL okay our login button so what we can this is the as and uh, anchor tag this is our tag name so how can we do this to you you know look at this you can see this is this is the the first child there's a ul is the parent of this airline so and we can we can you know uh, use the parent child tag that process that to uh, to have a x, uh, have x path for this login button so for the ul what is the this is the child this is the ul also child but this is the id matter for this id this is the this you can see when you uh, select this line it's a it's a reflect the whole the footer the left column the first column of the footer so this is the the parent and then so we can we can traverse from parent here and then this is the next is ul then then for the ul there is a uh, there is one two three four there's a four child so we'll traverse to the first child to here and then we'll use the so parent started from here uh, started from here the grandparent then parent then the child and then uh, uh, then the then the 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 tag of the 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 a of this uh, of this button so what would be so this will be if you notice this so this will be like this uh, we'll use the x path let's I can explain you here this will the x path will be like this So it started from so it started from 
started from id this is the we're creating the xbox so id will be started from the parents id equals to metaphor and then we'll come to the the immediate child okay which is the li okay uh, ul and then the li the next child uh the child which one is the first one so this way is the uh, li1 and the then the tag name of the uh button which is the a is in anchor so and then we'll use the click so after we click there after we click there let's go and then we'll enter here say hello so first to enter here i have to spy it so we'll spy it okay so here i can use there's an input tag and then type is text so okay here is the id and the class uh, there's a uh, uh, okay input so we can use uh, id we can use again expat right we can use the expat uh, so let's see what can we do so here we use the id user username login okay so id so it's very straightforward id and then username login this is the the value of the id so we follow the expat the syntax the double for slash then either tag name or register then the attribute equals the value within a single a single quotation the same key for the hello world okay and the next is password let's go to the password okay, let's spy first okay the type is password again it's id you user under under so, so we can create another uh x xpop using this id uh we can use the id or you can use the type so here i said id user pass and then send key and the next one click submit the click one the login button so let's swipe and then you can see this is the okay the type type attribute is submit we can use let's use css selector so so for the css selector our syntax we know uh or the tag name then this bracket and then the attribute equals to value so attribute is the type value is submit and the value should be in single quotation then click right so after we click there after we click there after we click there it should you know bring us this message and it's with the lost your your password so let's spy the lost your password this url right so this is the one so we can use so a is an anchor we can use this is the tag we'll start again our journey from the parent parent is id equals to login error okay and then we'll use a so here is the thing so so we use xpath okay so this is the xpath the parent and then slash is the tag name of the child a okay and then click and then we'll get the message if we click in here so we'll we'll spy this whole text and we'll print it so let's get the text so right click okay here is a class is message so we can create an xpub use the class attribute and then we'll say find driver to find the element by xpub uh, class attribute is a values message get the text and this one up to this okay up to this part do this one first driver to find the element and then put this whole thing inside a bracket this bracket this bracket and and this is it, another bracket so this two bracket and put this whole thing uh, inside a bracket and then you type system dot out dot print in and then you know close the window or close all the window use the quit okay let's run it right click make sure you save it one more thing is before you run it make sure you import all of your czar so to import your czar right click on your project properties 
Java build path, libraries, then add external jar, and then you know so import all of your jars, especially like uh, the one uh, Selenium, the Selenium Java. It depends on what's the version. So first these two, and after that, if you go lives, there's a few more. One, two, three, four, five. Import, open all of them, apply close. Then we'll make sure you got a, a reference library, and you will see all of your jar here. Okay, and then let's run it. Run Java application. It's running. Okay, launch the page. Okay, bring down. Okay, pretty good. Okay, click. Ah, oh, good. Here we go. You can see it's saying so it's close, so it's done. So this is the result. You can see this is Conan Box Automation Lab. This is uh, the title. It's learn, earn, and become an expert in automation. This is the title. Let's print the title for this uh, for this part. And after that, so please enter your username and password. This is the text message when we enter the invalid username and password. Click on login and then click the uh, forget password link. It prints this message. So this is the message we got. We get the get text message. This is uh, the get text uh, method. It gets that, that whole text and then we print it. Okay. So it looks good. And, it's, and after that, it's closed the window. So it looks pretty good. Uh, so you try it the same way and we'll see the next exercise. Thank you.